Hey, I'm doing this for you. Do you own a Challenger, Charger, or maybe some other vehicle where you having problems with the uh, trunk latch operating properly? We're gonna try to fix that today. I've been having intermittent problems with my trunk opening. The button on the dash doesn't work. The key fob is not working properly. And the little button on the outside of the car here is, isn't working. Luckily, you can pop the trunk by crawling underneath like I am here. And this thing's also glow in the dark, which is pretty awesome. Ugh. So the problem, hopefully, is the trunk release actuator. Seems to be a relatively easy install. It's just one electrical plug, a couple of bolts. We will have to remove this lining. Hopefully that's the problem is that this actuator went bad and that's what allows all the remote options to pop the trunk. So these are about $20, $30 on Amazon. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to install it. Hopefully that's gonna do the trick. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing here, there's uh, six little plastic fasteners that look like that. These look like they're even one-time use. So I'm gonna be careful pulling these out because as I pull this out, it looks like the, looks like the spines on here are uh, getting torn up. And I tried to remove one earlier and the whole cap came off. So I'm just using like a little pry bar like that because you kind of got to get get up under this and pop that out but I'm going to try to do this gently so I can hopefully reuse these uh, I don't have to check my drawer maybe I have some spares but uh, that might be a consideration to uh, have some new uh, fasteners uh, when you replace this back Okay, there's actually eight of those little Johns. So again, I only lost one. I'll see if I can find something to replace it, but again, just be careful not to uh, rip them out too violently because they're just little plastic fasteners that could come apart. So this one is still stuck in here. Oh, and I just broke it, motherfucker. Six out of eight. This stuff never goes back together the same as when you take it apart. So we'll deal with that later. All right, moving on. Oh, see, it wants to work now. But yeah, this doesn't quite work right, so. All right, so first thing, there's just a little one electrical clip under here. This is so easy, I can do it with one hand. So you just gotta get under to release that. And this will just push back. All right, and you know what they say, folks. I got nine nine problems, but a 10 millimeter ain't one. Probably the most common socket size for a lot of this type of work, these fasteners and bolt-on stuff. So I'm gonna use my socket, and then I'll probably use this just to make it easier. I don't have an electrical type, so. Could probably use a drill and just go zip zip but I don't have that luxury we're just gonna do this the old-fashioned way and I get my exercise in it's 
So you are going to reuse the bolts. You're going to reuse this hardware. So, all right, these two bolts. Uh, this here, this this looks this looks like a ground. That's going to thread through the bolt when you install the new one. So don't forget about that. But so you're you know and keep these washers intact. You got to reuse this hardware in this situation. So. Oh shit, I got it mixed up. Now this is the old one, this is the new one. Looks pretty identical. Hopefully this is the problem. So there's just two bolts you gotta line back up. Make sure you're putting this back in the right orientation. So you're gonna slip this through the little ground connector, through the hole. Gonna get that hand threaded first. Use my little screwdriver with the socket. Oh, gee. Let's get that started. Get the other one. Get that snugged up. Connect your electrical connector back into place. Oh no, I'm gonna test this with my key. Hey. Check the button. Oh yeah, baby! Look at that. You just saved yourself a bunch of time and inconvenience by having to go to a repair shop and schedule an appointment with a dealership. And you just fixed it for about $25. And you can say you did it yourself. Rock on. Let's put this bitch back together. So, if you remember, uh, I lost two of the eight plastic fasteners, but I was able to find two things in my toolbox that were similar. So, I used those in the center here. Uh, I used my six originals around the outside, and then just used the two odd ones in the center here, and uh, that should work. Otherwise, like they're probably easy enough. Right, to find some plastic fasteners at the hardware store or um, on Amazon. All right, I think our work is done here. Let's uh, close it up and give it a test. Test one. Ha <laughs> Test two. Beautiful thing. Test three is from inside the car. That's it. Hey, thanks for watching. Keep on rocking and uh, good luck.